me see. All right. Okay. Okay. So, Highway 26 in Mississippi and Highway 43. Uh, when you cross Pearl River from Louisiana, from Bogalusa, Louisiana, into Mississippi, you're on Highway 26, and where Highway 26 towards Poplarville crosses Highway 43, which goes from Picayune to Hattiesburg, it's called Crossroads. Crossroads was the community where we grew up, and if you follow Highway 43 north, and you come about seven miles up 43 and you come to Buck Branch School Road. Okay. And and that and that's the school you went to. I went to that I went to Buck Branch Did I miss it? I might not have had it large enough. I went to Buck Branch School um, until the seventh grade. Buck Branch was being slowly shut down. When I was in the sixth grade, Buck Branch went to the eighth grade. And when I went into the seventh, the eighth grade had already moved to Poplarville. And when I finished the seventh grade, then Buck Branch only went to the sixth grade. So they were slowly shutting it down. Oh, Leanne, I've lost it. Let me, let me try it again and get the, I don't know why I'm not picking up Buck Branch School Road. You had it a minute ago. I know. I might have gone to Fournay Road, yeah, I went to Far North, that's what the So the uh, Fournays are family too. I went to, yeah, I know. Okay. So there it is. Buck Branch School Road off of 43 was about seven miles up. Just past Buck Branch School Road was uh, Bethel Baptist Church where we went to church. And off of Buck Branch School Road, there's Humphrey Road here. Humphrey Road was named because of my uncle, um, Lavert Humphrey, um, my mother's older brother, one of her older brothers. And as you come up to the other end of Humphrey Road, it comes into Old Camp Road. My grandmother lived at the top of Old Camp Road. And then right off of Old Camp Road, there's Donald Humphrey Road. That's, that's my mother's brother. Mm -hmm. And just past there is Flynn Road. Flynn Road was my uncle Jim Flynn, who was married to my Aunt Louise, absolutely the most insane woman in the world. We had more fun with her. She was one of the ones that she would sit there at the table and she'd have her seven or eight kids sitting there at the table and once she got through eating, she'd liable to pick up a biscuit or a baked potato or anything and just sail it down the table and hit one of the kids and the food fight was on. So she was just so much full of fun all the time. So by that point, the family was pretty food secure? Yeah, oh yeah definitely, <laughs> definitely. So anyways, and then where we lived from grandmother's house was a little bit further up the road and we lived on, let me find this road that we lived on here. The name of that road. Come on. It's not giving me the name of that road. Why is it not? Back down. Okay. That right there is Botman Road. It keeps flashing on there and going away. Earl Botman was our neighbor. And this road was not here. Our house was right here, and Earl Baltman was one mile further down the road. 
and Earl Bottman had 40 acres of land that he farmed right next to our house. And every year when he planted corn in that field, he would plant two rows of corn for us and he'd plant two rows of potatoes and two rows of, of um, oh, tomatoes and okra. He'd plant all those on, the, on that one side of that field and the rest of the field was corn for him. And, uh, and we just worked in that field along with him because dad was always going off working carpentry work someplace, but we, as kids, and then we come across, there was Was that a, the guy that planted the sugar cane and you got all, and you got all the molasses? No, no, sugar cane was planted by everybody around there. And when it came time to harvest the sugar cane, the community would get together to make syrup. So everybody would bring their sugar cane in and we'd just go around and work. So dad would work all day uh, cooking the sugar cane syrup down to make syrup. And uh, and then and me and, and uh, Roy or me and Frank would go around and we would work and we'd just feed the sugar cane into the press and get so it make the juice. And then we'd get paid one gallon each for working all day and daddy get paid two gallons. So we'd have four gallons of cane syrup and then we'd take that home and it'd last us all year long because we we would supplement with black blackburn syrup you know so but the cane syrup would last that four gallons would last our family all year long it was good <laughs>